back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make this flower to attach to any any cloth uh you can use organza fabric you can use uh so this here you can attach it to anywhere so let's say i'm going to show you guys two um places that you can attach it so let's say you want to attach it on your sleeve let's say this is your sleeve pattern you're just going to measure round so you let's say this is halfway through your sleeve right you're just going to measure around it depends on you maybe you want three inches distance so you're going to measure around three inches round like this let's say you want it right in front of so i'm going to insert where it's attached to a sleeve and where it's attached to a dress so if you want to attach it to like in front of your dress this way like somewhere here on front of your dress so to determine where you want it to be you have to measure like the width so from that point you're going to measure the distance maybe you want it four inches away so you know that you're going to need four inches circle if you want it like five inches away then you know you're going to measure so you're going to measure from the center point of that and then figure out the distance you will need and then measure that distance all the way around so how you're going to cut it on a circle is so you're going to take your fabric fold it into two and then you're going to fold it again right so just like how we normally cut a circle and then you're going to fold it so whatever you decided to use so let's say you decided so when you measured from that part of your sleeve where you want it to be you measured like three so you're going to take that three place it this way and then you're going to place it this way but i'm going to add okay so three is what i'm going to be using so you're going to take this your a mark about three inches all the way so from this edge you're going to mark three inches all the way so guys now after that you're going to add about half an inch at the end here because you're going to be folding this so this half an inch is for your seam allowance it depends on you you can even go ahead but for the purpose of this i'm using like three inches you can make like five inches six inches whatever you need to you just need to check and know the distance that you need so let's say this is what i'm using so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out now so guys just like that i have my i have i've cut this out and you're going to go ahead and mark so that you know the center so i've marked this point here i marked my chalk on this point just to know my center and then i'm going to just notch all the edges so i notch this point and then i'm also going to notch this point and then when i open it up you will find that this is now my circle so whatever you measured so you see this here if i place it here all my flower will be right on this point if i place it right on this part of my sleeve it will be right on this top but this half an inch here is just for us to be able to fold the edges of this here because like this one this circle that we marked is going to serve like the plate that is holding the flower if that makes sense so this here now you're going to use half an inch to join the edges so the way we marked it now you're going to use half an inch but you will leave about one inch room so you're going to go ahead close this all the way with the half an inch seam allowance you left but you're going to leave like about one inch room to flip everything inside out so guys this is it here in case i didn't mention you're supposed to cut two of this here and then you're going to sew it round so now just notch all the edges and flip it inside out so guys this is this is the second so now we have the I'm going to call it like a plate for the what we are going to do now so what we need next is the fabric that we are going to use so what we are, what i'm going to do is this is what I'm, i'll be using this fabric here so what you have to do is to just go ahead and measure the weight you want so that you know that okay if i fold it this is what i'm going to have because remember when you fold it you're still going to use half an inch to join it here so for me what i have here is about um i have about five inches here so when i fold it i'm going to use half an inch to join it and then i'll be left with two inches so it depends on you what you want to use so now that i have this i'm going to join it because it depends on the length you're working with so i'm going to join mine and then close up the two ends so guys you see what i was saying just fold it and close up the two ends and then flip it inside out so you see i've done mine so i'm going to flip out the two ends and then you iron it on a fold so iron it down this way and then you go ahead go to your sewing machine and you start pleating it you just start pleating it this way so you're going to just keep pleating it just pull it one 
and then sew it down, pull it again, sew it down, pull it again, sew it down. There are two methods of making this. They have the pleats, they have the flounce, but flounce takes more fabric. So it depends on you which method you want to use. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the pleating method in this video. So you're going to just keep pleating it this way and keep sewing. I've finished pleating this. What I have to do now is just to mark out the parts where I want to place this. So you can start, if you feel like you can do it without marking it, that's okay. You don't have to mark it, but like if you're a beginner and you feel like you need to trace out, uh, then do that. So you trace it, from there you enter into an, another line, just like, just something circle like this, and then from there you, you go into the next one, 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 until you get to the center, you see? So that's what you're going to trace out here. So you see, that's what I'm trying to, to show you guys. So you're going to start from one end and then you're just going to go all the way around until you get to the center. So you see, if you feel like you don't want to pleat yours, that you can just go ahead and start from somewhere and you not make mistake, then do that. But I, I just for the sake of the beginners, then just pleat yours and then you're going to start, uh, you start putting this in here. So you're going to sew it down. Try to make the pleat to come together. This is just for the purpose of the video. That's why I spread mine apart. But you're supposed to make it come together so that it can be able to stand. Because if you leave it, like, if you use a little pleat all the way, it won't stand. It will just spread out this way. But try to make your pleat come together a little bit more. That way you can be able to help it stand. So I'm going to go ahead and sew mine all the way until I get to the center. See, this is mine here. This is it. So you see, but I, I know you might be thinking mine is too open, like the distance in between, because you can see the stitch. But that's why you have to make your own up close. But just because this is a sample that I'm trying to show you guys. So this is what it looks like. And then if you look at the back, so you're going to keep going all the way to get to the center. So if you see the back, this is the back here. So you're supposed to use the same fabric as the pattern for this here. And then how you're going to attach it to your clothes is just this end here. So you're going to just take it and sew it down to your clothes. So wherever you want to attach it is where you're going to just take this here, sew it all the way around down to that part. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.